Hi, I'm Sophie Coley from searchlistening.com, the official education partner of Answer the Public. In this video, I'm going to prompt you to think a little bit about the seed terms that you put into the tool, um, because the quality of what you get out ultimately is dictated by what you put in. How to get the most out of Answer the Public. Now for me, this really comes down to the idea that the quality of your reports and the insights that you're able to take from them comes down to the quality of the terms that you input into this box. Um, and there's a few points that I want to give you to really um, get you thinking about what you put in here and, and how um, strong the insights that you take are. So the first is to work with the bridge words that you see in the reports and really to ensure that you're only putting in, I, I guess, two words as a maximum into this box. Occasionally you might need three, but certainly not sentences. And here's why. I'm going to show you. If I put something like, is milk chocolate better than dark into this box? Run the report. So I would expect the wheels that turn up in this report to be quite skinny. I will explain why in just a second when the report loads. So here we are. We've got 12 questions on this question wheel. Now, uh, anyone who uses the tool quite frequently will know that this is really unusual. Usually this question wheel is jam packed with different terms. And here's why, because what I've asked it to do is to look at how is milk chocolate better than dark? And okay, that, that term makes sense. But then are is milk chocolate better than dark? Will is milk chocolate better than dark? Where is milk chocolate better than dark? What is milk chocolate better than dark? And so on. Really what I should have done is just look at milk chocolate and then look at dark chocolate. If I'm really interested in the comparisons thing, then of course we have the comparisons wheel specifically. So um, we would expect some of those terms to start appearing in this wheel anyway. Um, as you can see, all of the wheels are very, very skinny and it's because I'm confusing the tool effectively. So just put in milk chocolate, just put in dark chocolate and really get to know these terms. So all the, the, the terms, the bridge words on the question wheel, on the preposition wheel and on the comparison wheel and think about how they can work with the terms that you're putting into the tool. The second one is this idea that actually don't use jargon. Think about how your um, audience, your public will search and then think about all the different ways and explore as much as you can. So um, I'm going to go with the flights example that's prompted when you um, actually load up Answer the Public. So I might be an airline, I'm looking at flights. So I've got a load of interesting stuff here. But you know what, I'm also going to look at airports because that's really interesting and relevant as well. Um, I might also look at um, airlines. So think about a number of different phrases and actually, you know, I've got three reports to pour through now and there will be different insights in each of them. Um, but it gives me so much more to work with. Um, and actually, obviously, the brief that you're working to and what you're actually looking to do will dictate how many of these you want to do. But I would really, really implore you to just run as many reports as you can. Um, have a look through the terms. Some, some other wording might come up that you find interesting and then run that as a report. Um, so don't just run one report and think kind of job done effectively. The third tip that I want to give you is a little prompt around language. So if I stick with flights, we've run the flights report. That's really interesting. So think about the last time you booked a flight. Did you stop searching um, online once you would booked the flight? I would um, guess that you didn't. I, I certainly don't. But your perception of the flight and how you search because of that will have changed. And here's what I mean. I think now you think of it as your flight. You might search uh, what entertainment will there be on my flight? What's the food like on my flight, etc, etc. Um, and that's going to bring up a whole load of different terms. So think about that my versus a thing. Make your input possessive and see how that changes things. So you can see all these questions. What's my flight number? What's my flight status? Which terminal for my flight? These are all really interesting, relevant stuff still if I'm that airline in, in the sort of hypothetical example that I've given you. Um, but I'm only getting that because I'm putting in my flight. So think about the different ways that you can play around with your seed word. Um, my isn't one of the bridge words that we have in the tool. Um, there's other ones, so best is another one that's really, really useful to put in here. But just think, as I said, about that seed word. Um, and you will see a complete wealth of insight coming through in the in the reports that you run. <laughs>